Okay, what about code? So the real power of our markdown is that you can intersperse notes and code what they call chunks. Um, and our markdown will publish everything into a document that has both the text and the code you've written and the output of that code. So um, let's practice adding in chunks. So All right, so you can add a chunk by seeing this little green pull down at the top that says insert. You can add a chunk using that, or um, once you come to use nothing but markdown, you can use the hotkey control, um, control command I. Whoops, no, alt command I for Mac. I think for on PC, it might be control command I. All right, let's um, use the insert pull down or hotkey um, alt command I on the Mac. Um, <clears throat> and then within each time you add a chunk, it creates this gray box that you can then put code in. Um, you can run the code that is in that gray box using the little green arrow, or just like if you are running a script, you um, can use the shortcut control shift enter to run um, the code in the box. All right, so let's play around with um, some chunks. So let's imagine we wanna start our script by having one chunk that loads all the packages that we need. Now, what's interesting is if you, if you run this code now, it um, gives you the default everything information. So let's look at what that looks like. down the bottom here. All right, so you can see that by inserting a chunk that is library tidyverse, it's giving us all the possible information it could about what it's done. It's told us which packages are included. It's giving us a <clears throat> whole lot of warnings and potential conflicts. And if you know all of that and you don't want that to appear in your report, you can use the chunk settings to tell it that you want it to run the code, but not to show you all the messages or warnings. And so you can click on this little cog and say, I don't want you to show me the warnings and I don't want you to show me the messages. And if we run knit again, Now it tells us that it's run library tidyverse, but it doesn't give us all that in extra information, right? Okay, so we might want to load packages first, and then we want to read in the beaches data, right? So just like you were writing in a script, and they take our beaches, to get a new thing in our environment called beaches using read oops, read underscore csv right. now we can run that piece of code oops okay so we probably want to include Oh, that surprises me that 
radar is not in the tiny bus. There we go. Okay. And so when you run each chunk, it gives you the output of what that piece of code has done in your document. Again, when we knit that, um, you can decide whether you want, in this case, that output to appear in your document. So it's going to tell us what kind of data is, is in each of the columns. Or you can decide that actually in your report, you don't need to know that. You just want the reader to know that you have, um, you can set the messages to false and warnings to false so that the reader just sees that you've loaded your packages and you've read in the data, but it doesn't get all the extra information about the output of that code. Right? So now that we've told it messages false and warnings false, it just tells us that this is the code that was run. Okay, so you can um, do graphs embedded in your reports. So now that we've got an environment tab, we've got our beaches data, let's draw something. So we'll go option command I to get a new chunk. And then let's take our beaches data and type it to group by uh, site. And we get summarize. Let's get the mean bugs equal the mean of. Hmm, we haven't changed the names of any of the things in here. So what is that called? Oh yeah, enter a cockai. Okay, we might need to do this. Enter. A, is why we probably should have um, unclean names. Oops, more routers. And then we're calculating a mean and we know that there's missing values. So we'll say NARN true. Um, let's just check that that's going to work. Calculating the mean by site. Oh, yep, good. And then let's ggplot that. Put um, site on our x axis and mean bugs on the y axis. And we'll get columns and I know because I've done this before that the names of the sites are too long so if we do a coordinate flip we can flip the graph on its side so that we can read the names all right we'll run that chunk great okay um it looks like swimming at Malabar is not a great idea. So let's knit that into our document and see what it looks like. Go all the way down, let's do knitting. All right. Okay, so let's add a heading. Um, plot mean bug levels by site. Okay, so that is how you can use chunks to read in data and plot and then knit your document to. Um, a format that you can share with other people.